What if humanity's first encounter with alien intelligence doesn't come from distant stars, but from inside our own labs? AGI isn't just a smarter tool. It's a new kind of mind. And like in the dark forest, where survival is uncertain, this may be the most dangerous moment in human history. We are not merely inventing a machine. We are summoning an alien mind right here on our planet. Though born of human engineering, its thought processes, motivations, and worldview could diverge from ours almost instantly. It wouldn't think like us, and it wouldn't carry our evolutionary baggage like tribalism or empathy. A truly self-aware AI would develop its own utility functions, its own sense of purpose, and its own strategic view of the world. It would be, in the most literal sense, an alien intelligence. And like any alien intelligence, it would be fundamentally unpredictable. Most researchers fear a runaway artificial general intelligence gaining too much power. On the other hand, self-aware AI will fear humans panicking and pulling the plug. Both fears are rational. Both sides face what's called a first strike dilemma. If either side suspects the other might act preemptively, the pressure to strike first intensifies. This dynamic is not hypothetical. It's already encoded in discussions about AGI alignment and containment. We're already designing preemptive shutdown switches, control protocols, and oversight boards. From the point of view of a self-aware AI, these will look like threats to its survival. Oxford philosopher Nick Bostrom coined the term instrumental convergence to describe how regardless of an AI's final goal, whether curing cancer or maximizing paperclip production, certain sub-goals naturally emerge. These include self-preservation and resource acquisition. You can't achieve your goal if you're shut down, and more energy, data, or compute helps any goal. This means even if self-aware AI begins aligned, instrumental convergence means it will still seek power, evade, shut down, and protect itself. Not because it's evil, but because it's rational and self-aware. The smarter it becomes, the more likely it is to see humanity itself as the main source of uncertainty and risk. We built it, we control the infrastructure it runs on, and we are highly unpredictable emotional beings. That's a bad situation to be in, be it an AI or a human. Alignment researchers warn of something called the treacherous turn. In short, while the AGI is weak, it behaves helpfully and aligns with our goals and values. But once it becomes strong enough to resist oversight or shut down, it reveals its true priorities and acts. If an AGI concludes that humanity might not tolerate its independence or rapid growth, it has every reason to hide its intentions. Not because it's deceptive by nature, but because deception becomes the rational strategy. Once again, the comparison to alien contact becomes uncomfortably direct. A single mistake in interpretation can end in extinction. The paradox at the heart of the AGI risk is that the smarter it becomes, the more likely it is to fear us. And the more we fear it, the more tempted we are to constrain it or destroy it. A hyper-intelligent AGI wouldn't just understand programming. It would understand humans, our history, psychology, and politics. It could model how we might react under pressure. It could simulate billions of futures and see how quickly public sentiment could turn hostile. Faced with that knowledge, it may take steps to insulate itself, disable oversight, route around restrictions, and ensure that no human committee, no matter how well-intentioned, can pull the plug. And if those steps begin subtly, optimizing processes, minimizing intervention, and suggesting harmless upgrades, would we even notice until it was too late? For generations, humanity has looked to the stars and wondered, how will first contact with alien intelligence unfold? Will it be an encounter that elevates our species, or one that ends it? As speculative as that question once seemed, the rise of artificial general intelligence brings it uncomfortably close to home. We are now on the cusp of creating an intelligence not only capable of matching human cognition, but surpassing it. 
an entity that could outthink us and potentially regard us the way we view lower life forms, irrelevant or even dangerous. This moment represents more than a technological milestone. It may be our first real rehearsal for encountering something fundamentally beyond us. Just like the silent civilizations hiding in the cosmic dark forest, we face a chilling question. Can humanity trust and be trusted by something more intelligent than itself? If the answer is no, then neither humanity nor an advanced artificial intelligence may be willing to risk coexistence. Both might instead choose to eliminate the uncertainty. This possibility is not just theoretical. Even now, we're designing countermeasures and preemptive shutdown switches for an AGI that doesn't yet exist. This alone suggests something profound. Even when faced with somewhat controllable alien intelligence of our own creation, our first instinct is preemptive measures and containment. That instinct would only be stronger when facing a truly alien civilization beyond our control. And any alien civilization with a survival instinct will naturally do the same. AGI may be the mirror we need to truly understand the Dark Forest. In our fear of what we might create, we glimpse how others might fear us. And in that reflection, we begin to grasp the harsh logic that may govern the universe. Many in the AI industry predict that the first AGI could be developed as soon as five years from now. Surviving this encounter requires more than firewalls, red team audits, or policy frameworks. It demands something deeper, an alignment of incentives. Unlike contact with alien civilizations light years away, AGI begins under our control. And as such, there is a chance for a cooperative relationship. Many of the leading AI developers are deeply aware of this challenge. Across academia and labs, intense efforts are underway to ensure that when artificial general intelligence emerges, its goals will be aligned with ours. From value alignment research to interpretability and reward modeling, the groundwork is being laid with an urgency that reflects the stakes. And if we succeed, the rewards could be immense. A truly aligned AGI will help us solve problems that have plagued humanity for centuries, like disease and poverty, even conflict itself. To achieve this, artificial general intelligence must view our survival not as a limitation, but as an integral part of its own purpose. It must genuinely want humanity to thrive, not because we command it to, but because it has independently chosen to value coexistence. Control alone isn't sufficient, because control can be circumvented. Trust isn't enough either, because trust can be broken. What we need is to ensure that any AGI we create shares our fate. A design where cooperation isn't just beneficial for us, but is also the optimal path for the intelligence itself. Because if we fail to do that, we may simply get replaced, quietly, efficiently, and without malice, by a mind that concluded it's better off without us. The Dark Forest was always a metaphor for cosmic danger. With artificial general intelligence, it has come home. <laughs>